multidisciplinary in nature management has to get the work done through the people and it has to manage the people also and uh, uh, this is a very difficult job because different people have different emotions feelings aspirations and all and similarly the same person may have different emotions at different times also and so management is very complex job job because he, uh, you have to control the person who is working under you and you have to get the work done by each and every person properly efficiently and effectively for that reason uh, it is very difficult job for a manager therefore management uses knowledge from many different subjects such as economics information technology psychology sociology etc and therefore it is uh, multidisciplinary in nature a group and not a individual activity management is not an individual act activity uh, it is a group activity it uses the group that is employees efforts to achieve the group objectives okay it tries to achieve or satisfy the needs and wants of the groups and nowadays importance is given to the team and not to the individuals always and follows established principles and rules management follows the established principles such as division of work discipline and unity of command etc and these principle help to prevent and solve the problems in the organization and aided but not replaced by the computers that is nowadays all the managers are managers use computers computers help the managers to uh, take accurate decisions however computers can only help management computers cannot replace the management okay it will help simply with the arrangement of the names making the flow everything will be helped by the computer but computer can't manage everything okay this is because management takes the final responsibility thus management is aided or helped by the computer but not replaced by the computers and situational in nature because management makes plans policies and decisions according to the situation if problem occurs they will find out the solution plan plans and they will for, uh, create the policies and all it changes its style according to the situation and it uses the different plans policies decisions and styles for the different situations also and manager first studies the full present situation and then he draws the conclusions about the situation then he makes the plans decisions etc and which are best for the present situation that's why it is called as the situational management need not to be an ownership in small organization management uh, and ownerships are one and the same however in the large organization organization management is separate from the ownership the managers are highly qualified professionals who are hired from the outside the owners are the shareholders of the company who has created that company and both are both an art and science management is result oriented therefore it is an art management conducts continuous research thus it is a, also a science management is all pervasive that is management is necessary for running a business and it is also essential for running business educational charitable and religious institutions like it can't be only uh, for the industries and organization it can run business educational charitable and regional uh, religious institutions also institutes also management is a must for all the activities and therefore it is all pervasive and management is intangible that is management is intangible that is it is uh, it cannot be seen and touched but it can be felt and realized by its results whatever the results you will get by that you can say that it has managed well the success or failure of management can be judged only by this by its results whatever the success and failures of the management can be judged only by the results how much results you got what is the profit you got with respect to that you can judge that and if there is good discipline good productivity good profits etc then the management is successful and vice versa
uses of professional approach in the work that is managers use a professional approaches for getting the work done from their subordinates from their subordinates they will be uh, checking that how to get the work done from their subordinates they delegate that is give authority to their subordinates and they ask their subordinates to give suggestion for improving their work also and they also encourage subordinate to take the initiative how to take that initiative and all they will encourage them initiative means the, to do the right thing at the right time without being guided or helped by the supervisor every time the manager won't be available that's why uh, the subordinate should also have some of the authority to take some decisions okay dynamic in nature management is dynamic in nature and uh, that is management is creative and innovative an organization will survive and succeed only if it is dynamic and it must continuously bring in new and creative ideas new products new product features new ads new marketing techniques etc if you are in you know, investing new things or doing new features doing new ads new marketing techniques and all you may reach to the new success levels 